Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, a lot of people might call this a parody. Or they might say, oh, it's great, it's funny, it's all that stuff. And right now, it almost has 69,000 likes on Instagram, where I am. Uh, I say this because this is not something that needs to be uh, endorsed. This video is actually something that's pretty heinous, if you really take a look and think about what it is. You see, people are sick and tired of free speech being allowed on Twitter. They've gone to such lengths to demonize people who endorse Elon Musk and his bid to make Twitter a free speech platform like it is. However, there is still some censorship going on, I will admit. Um, but this video that was done on TikTok and Instagram at least I'm guessing it's on TikTok because I don't use TikTok. I don't support the Chinese Communist Party. Um, this video is actually pretty bad if you think about it. But don't take my word for it. Let's watch this video and you'll see for yourself. Mad 69 on Twitter. Yeah. On the 23rd of April, you tweeted, Garcia staying down after a body shot, pathetic, would never be me. So? Do you stand by that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Joe, in you come. Joe, Joe! <laughs> okay, so maybe you want to think before you tweet next time, yeah? Yes. Um, Good lad. Well um, People have gotten way too comfortable talking shit. Twitter, especially since Elon Musk took over. So if someone steps out of line, we just pay them a visit. Right, next up we have a Brian Thomas, or at Harland underscore goat 2657, and he tweeted, I could be any professional women's boxer with one hand tied behind my back. Okay, Natasha, you're up. It's about providing accountability for what people say on social media. Yep, and the big fight makes it especially busy for us. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I'll never tweet about boxing again. Make sure you don't, yeah? Good lad. We're done. On to the next one. Okay, we'll be right there. Someone has just tweeted, anyone outside the heavyweight top five is a bum. Thomas, you're up! Sometimes, just the threat of action is enough. I'll delete the tweet. I'll delete the tweet! Are you boxing so yeah that's kind of fucking Gestapo shit like serious Nazi Germany kind of shit right there where you go to somebody who said something that you don't like and you basically have them beaten and assaulted simply for saying something you don't like I, this isn't a joke this is probably what somebody really wants to have happen and the fact that they actually use professional athletes means that these professional athletes endorse this kind of shit. I'm sorry, but if you're a professional athlete and somebody tweets and talks shit about you, fucking bear it, man. Take it and it's fucking social media. Yeah, there might be paper tigers in real life, but that does not mean you have a right to go assault them at their homes. This kind of stuff is not accountability, it's censorship. They're saying, don't tweet or don't talk shit about people on Twitter, or else, well, somebody may come and beat the shit out of you. That's what they want to have happen on Twitter. I'm sorry, I don't think that that's something that's worth 69,000 likes. Actually, I think that's something that's worth reporting for inciting violence. And wanting violence against people how is this getting 69,000 freaking likes folks I'm sorry I needed to have this out there so you all know what kind of shit you're truly paying attention to if you're truly paying attention this isn't funny this isn't cool I saved it into a thing that is not cool on my Instagram I'm sorry, I just think that this is absolute shit. And to the person, uh, they also, comments for this have been limited. Yeah, Rickaraka, 
um, basically create or endorses violence against those they disagree with. But you know what? Like what you want to like, folks. I think that this is absolutely disgusting behavior. Anyway, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz, whatever. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. Do you think that this kind of stuff should be endorsed? Or do you think that this kind of stuff is absolutely retarded? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This is about Orange Hat Reviews. Stay humble.